Hey guys, back. So today I'm actually going to show you um, scoreboard. Now this is built specifically for the MOBA that I'm building, so it's not going to be so compatible as my other stuff will be, but I may release more compatible versions, but there's many out there. My one's quite different, I think. I haven't seen it done before. It uses a dictionary and a list. It, I've seen two, ones that use a dictionary inside a dictionary and stuff. If you don't know what those terms are, it's fine. You'll learn today. Um, if you don't know how Unity works and you're just kind of popping by just to see this, this is fine, but I would definitely check out how it works and stuff so you know these buttons and you know all this stuff because I'm not going to go through it. I did go through it the first few times, but I had a few issues and I decided not to go through it. But there is plenty of tutorials out there. I know it's a little bit more work. Maybe if you really want to see one, you can just always comment and, and I'll make one or two videos discussing every little detail and stuff. But... Um, as usual, I'm just kind of showing off this. This is what I normally do. I normally get something and maybe show off how it's built. If it's quite difficult, it took me a decent time. I've got a main area, and this is just my panel. This is what it's going to look like. So it ends up looking like this, right? And um, this main panel is just, you know, obviously the size of my screen. You know, of how, not the size of my screen, but how big I want it to be in the canvas, is, if you guys don't know, is just a new Unity 4.6 thing. This is what the size of your screen, this is what your screen will look like, and you can issue, put objects in there to make it look different. Obviously, this is a 3D game, but I am building this completely in 2D. Um, just this, uh, this, just this little bit of coding, um, just because it makes things a bit easier, so I don't have to try it. You know, oh, well, this one, yeah, you know, I have to go. Okay, well, this one, you have to just properly see how it's, you know, it's a lot more difficult and stuff, but it's easily can be done. Um, next thing is, I've got red and blue sides, your names wherever you want, I've got a leaderboard map, uh, these are just titles and stuff, they're not really needed, I've got toolbar which just has a title, and then side, side one, which is actually inside the toolbar, obviously is all my blue ones, and vice versa over here, and this should be 120, wait 185, oh, point for you. 185.3 like that um, and then that's basically what it's going to look like and then I'm going to have um, some population of objects uh, I'm going to build everything else but this is basically oh, I also want a database which is essentially the whole screen the, this whole area here is set for the toolbar and this is where all your objects will be spawning and you want a red side and a blue side if you're doing that if you're not, you can just obviously mix them, but red side's obviously over here, blue side's obviously over here. To make one of these, you just make it full, you make it half, then you duplicate it and move the other one to the other side. And I'll be showing about layouts later. So you don't need to worry about all this stuff, and the text and stuff, you just kind of click on the round them and see how they work if you just don't fully know. They're pretty easy to learn. Um, yes, this is our test scene. And then we'll actually put this into a game. Uh, so we'll actually start building some characters since we haven't done that for probably a good solo while. I had, I've had the sleep of like a nothing. <laughs> for like maybe maybe three hours sleep or something ridiculous. It's very low amount of sleep. So I'm surviving coffee alone and sugar, so it means that obviously uh, with these videos if I'm sounding quite um, coarse or I'm sounding you know quite sick or tired or whatever because I'm also sick it's you know that's why. So we actually start building this. This is quite a bit more complex than actually I, I then um, I mean it, okay I made it look a bit more complex than it actually is because um, it actually in a way makes it easier. I'll explain why. We, we want a script to run. I kind of built this off screen, but essentially, oh, play names. Why are these? Play names are not working properly. I want them. They're mostly working, but when they get to a certain degree, Everything else works pretty well, as you can see. Oh, play, just play name just goes. Maybe I just call these names. I also um, fully centered them. 
as you would expect. Um, Why it's bunking out, but it is regardless, it should be pretty fine in the end because of the name being quite a small title. I'm all the things corresponding to this. Um, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. So, we'll go through what we need. So, we actually need a script, and this script is going to be a C sharp. So, you can right click or you can click here, and we're going to call this C sharp. And we're going to call this score manager, or we could call it board manager. Why not? Um, so the board manager is just going to hold everything, and of course, got another class inside a class, which you normally don't do, or not really. It's not a beginner thing, is that you try not to do that, but I've decided to do it because it's pretty small or it's actually quite a big code I probably should have done it twice but it means that it kind of shows that you know if you're not going to use it you might as well right you know if you're not going to use it in anything else why what you know why have it doing class and it's only very rarely that you ever use this and I don't use it in many other circumstances but I will show you when you can put it into another piece of um, script and do suggest you do that if you have just really begun or you um, haven't been coding for a while and you just you know, right click create another C-sharp script and just do all the scripts that I have done, right? Um, with, obviously, I'll, I'll explain what you also have to have in it and stuff. It, it just will make it a bit easier for you to understand. But if you've been doing it for a little while or you feel uh, it's just two scripts, it will, and you believe me, it, it will make it a bit easier. For your mind, maybe. Maybe, probably not. So we don't really care about these things. Um, they're just like functions. We'll be adding in our, those ones probably later, but right, we're just gonna keep it simple, right? And I don't know if we're ever gonna use gen the normal one, but we might as well have it. And we're gonna use UI. So you just write these little things up here and you can write this as a whole new one and just keep systems of collections. We might as well do that. Just in case we do use it. Use it. And that's it. That's basically all you need for this thing. So if you've ever used JavaScript before, that's your bit basically importing. You're saying, okay, can I use certain aspects from these things? So what we'll do is we'll actually comment these things out. If you use double forward slashes, it means that these these pieces of code aren't run. So you can use this for commenting things. For example, say, okay, now I'm going to initialize. Uh, I think it's C, even in Australia, even though it makes no sense. Uh, initialize this, and then that won't run, but like you can still look over and go, okay, that's why I did that, that's why I did this. So it's as easy for you to understand. So we're going to make a. This is where, if you want another script, I suggest you doing it. Because we'll actually have the. Um, yeah, we will keep these out. I'm just um, if if you this is going to be another class inside class. Um, normally, I would add this at the end, but it's kind of necessity for the whole thing because the whole thing revolves around using this data. Basically, we're building a database, and then we're fulfilling that database with data, as you normally would do. Hopefully, um, so we're just going to have another public class, and class is how would I explain class? It would be like a um. Let me just say, a class is like, mm, the best way to explain it would be that, imagine class is like an actual classroom. So, public is anyone can use it. Private means only you can use it in any of your other classes. So if I have a public uh, integer, which is a number, cow, that means this class can use it. Uh, board manager. Uh, cow, uh, it's not gonna allow me. Okay, so just forget about that. But basically, um, 
any other class can use it if if they're referencing properly. It's a bit hard to get into it, but there'll be tactics of how to get into it. Private only your class and anyone who's an extension of you can use it. And then there's one more if you're using JavaScript, but we're not using Java. Oh, I mean like actual Java, not JavaScript. Um, that's restricted, which is a bit different because Java's kind of got a new, a different system than C sharp. Okay, so we we're gonna write this, and then I'm gonna show you a few tricks. So this code will be at the very bottom. So what you want to do is we actually want to have a few things. We want to have a public string of name. Make sure you get spelling right. And normally you have variables, so anything like this or anything like this, you normally have the first letter being lowercase and then any other words, because you can't have space bar, so you normally do the most capitals, so it kind of looks sensical. But with your functions, you have them all capitals. You know, not all capitals, not like function, or like function cow, or cow eat. Yeah, not like that, but you'd have it so it would be a like void cow eat instead of just like that. It's just to make it look nicer and how everyone does it. Just because if everyone does it the same way, that means if you come and edit my code or I come and edit your code or whatever, it means that I can understand or whoever and they can, you know, mod as you normally would expect it. So it's like, well, that one doesn't exist. Do that one a second. Public int. No. And then I'll tell you that one in a second. So um, these are just a few of the variables. There's two more, but I'll talk about them in a second. Um, a static is never. So we have eight players, right? And each eight players will have their own name, their own ID, their own prefab, but they will all have the same number here because they all have the same number of players. The game has the same number of players. So every player will contain how many players there are. You know, and that's what static means, is if this number changes, means every object that has this thing will change that number. So if so if now you've got an extra player and you go player one goes from one to two, that means every every um object in the game that is a player or has a script attached to it, every player, this number will now equal one because you've just changed your two or whatever you change it to. Alright? Next is something called an enum. This is a bit different. Um the the general gist of an enum is that kind of hard to explain, but basically they are a um, they're a variable that you create. Um, team siding. Obviously, color doesn't really matter. Why, why, why? And then we're gonna have red and blue. So, an imam of team color is nothing else than basically this is your own variable. So, I can't say team color is equal to red because it's like saying integer is equal to two. What you can't just say integer is equal to two. You say integer, maybe uh, my number is equal to two. My number is equal to three. You say integer is equal to two. So same over here. So you'd have um, under your player, we want to have an enum of team colors. We go public team color, and you call this maybe team. I'm still trying to call it. Uh, what did I call it? I called it player team. That makes more sense. Object. Um, play object. I like that. That would work. So we're going to go that. Um, now we also want something called a dictionary. Now it's very much like a dictionary in real life, but it's a bit different. But we don't actually have dictionaries. We've got dictionary bases and and all those I dictionaries and stuff, but they're not what we want. So this is what this little one here is for. This is for dictionaries and for lists. We'll be going to lists later. So they're the main things you'll be using. So dictionary, and the dictionary will have a string and an integer. And I'll explain what this is. And we're going to call it stats. So 
So, let's explain. What is a dictionary? Well, it's like a real life dictionary. Each dictionary will have a string and an integer. So it's like a having two numbers, but it's a bit different. So do you know how we would call a variable name of, uh, maybe it's say a variable name of my number? That's our variable name. Here, our variable name is our string. So very much like an array, an array, if you guys don't know what array is, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically it's like a, a list. It's like a shopping list. It's like a list of numbers or letters or you know strings or booleans or whatever you want so it's just, it's like an array so here we would access stats uh, we'll start our next bit so we'll go public player just so we can kind of do this so we can go stats and then we can give our key and we can go okay can you give me uh, maybe the kills And we go, okay, well, maybe id kills is equal to that. There we go. Now, what we're not saying about dictionary inside a dictionary is that you can have a dictionary inside a dictionary, right? So what you could do is you could have no dictionary here, like this. And then you could have inside here, you could have a string and an integer. And what this would do is this would be kind of similar in the way that what you do is you would have a string and this would be your player name and then so each player could have their own so kills deaths assists whatever and then this could be Bob Jill Neil whatever you know it's the same kind of thing you know but the reason I don't do that is because it's kind of complex for those who are just starting out or it's not always needed and I like lists a bit better because it gives me a bit more control. For example, this play ID, I could actually probably have it here actually, to be perfectly honest. I could have it here too, okay. Um, but it's just nice to have it here. I like it here, okay. <laughs> I can also have a player object, which I couldn't have if I had dictionary inside dictionary. So how would I access that object? How would I do anything with that object? You know, because um, I'm kind of doing it a bit differently than what people do, but that's fine. Um, but I'm doing it slightly different than what normally people do, but it should end up fine. So my string for name, and we also want a team colors or color whatever for team. So everyone using this knows which you know should we can enter team and we can enter color for name. 